But Phil Salt's explosive response and England's dominance. A thrilling T20 match unveiled. In the latest T20 clash between England and West Indies, Phil Salt's bat roared to life, silencing critics who doubted his capabilities after being overlooked in the IPL auction. Salt's explosive innings of 119 off 57 balls paved the way for England to set an imposing target of 268 runs. The Windies, however, faltered, succumbing to a 75-run defeat in Taruba, leveling the series at 2-2 and setting the stage for a high-stakes decider. England's captain Joss Butler and Phil Salt, after losing the toss, provided a formidable opening partnership, amassing 267 for three. The second highest score by a full member nation in T20 is. Salt's scintillating century, achieved in just 48 balls, marked England's highest individual T20I score. Will Jacks and Liam Livingston contributed to the onslaught, guiding England to a commanding position. The match featured an entertaining display of power hitting, witnessing a total of 33 sixes, the third highest in men's T20 is. Andre Russell and Nicholas Porin displayed their prowess, but Salt outshone them with an impressive tally of 10 sixes. West Indies, chasing the daunting target, crumbled under the pressure. Bowled out within 16 overs, with Reese Topley taking three wickets and Sam Curran and Rehan Ahmed claiming two each. England's opening salvo was ruthless, as Salt dominated the T21 debutant Matthew Ford, smashing boundaries and clearing the ropes. The power play ended with England flying at 68 without loss, compounding West Indies' bowling struggles in this series. Salt, coming off an unbeaten century in the previous game, continued his onslaught. The dismissal of Butler did little to slow him down, as he launched three consecutive sixes off Sherfane Rutherford's over. Salt's century, accompanied by a scream of triumph, made him only the second player from a full-member nation to achieve back-to-back -back hundreds in T20 is. Despite West Indies' early and death bowling struggles, Livingston's late surge propelled England past their previous best T20 one total. Salt, eventually dismissed by Russell, had already steered England to a formidable score of 267 for three. In response, West Indies faced early setbacks, with Brandon King falling to Moeen Ali's delivery in the very first ball. Porin's aggressive hitting briefly provided hope, but his departure, caught brilliantly by Harry Brook, marked a turning point. The middle order crumbled under the pressure of England's bowlers, with Adil Rashid and Sam Curran making crucial breakthroughs. Ultimately, the task proved too tall for West Indies, and they succumbed to a comprehensive defeat. Phil Salt's explosive innings and England's dominant performance have set the stage for a thrilling series decider at Taruba, promising more cricketing excitement in the upcoming clash. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to help us grow and continue creating quality videos for you.